Do you want to learn how to trade one of the AI industry's most mysterious and controversial stocks? Do you want to know how to use options to profit from the price movements of this stock, whether it goes up or down? Do you want to hear this stock's latest new analysis and prospects? You are in the right place if you answered yes to any of these questions. Palantir is a software company that provides data analytics and AI solutions for government and commercial clients. The company was founded in 2003 by former PayPal employees, including Peter Thiel, a co-founder of PayPal and Facebook. Palantir is known for its secretive and controversial work with U.S. intelligence and defense agencies and its involvement in various social and political issues. In this episode, I will show you how to trade Palantir stock using options, a form of derivative trading that allows you to buy or sell the right to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified price and time. I will explain the basics of options trading, the factors that affect the price of options, and the strategies that suit your market view and risk appetite. I will also give examples of options trading for Palantir stock based on its historical price data and current market situation. I will also share recent news and analysis about Palantir stock and its prospects. By the end of this episode, you will have a better understanding of Palantir stock and options trading, and you will be able to make more informed trading and investment decisions. You will also have some fun along the way, as I will make this episode as intriguing and entertaining as possible. If you are ready to dive into Palantir stock and options trading, please stay tuned and watch this episode until the end. Palantir went public in September 2020 through a direct listing, meaning it did not raise any new capital or use any underwriters. Palantir stock opened at $10 per share and reached a high of $17.16 on June 7, 2023. Since then, the stock has fluctuated between $13.56 and $17.16, with an average price of $15.23. The stock has a market cap of $29.72 billion, revenue of $1.98 billion, and a net income of minus $255.52 million. Palantir has negative earnings per share, EPS, of minus 12 cents, which means it is not profitable yet. Meanwhile, the forward price to earnings or PE ratio of 60.20 means that it is trading at a high premium compared to its expected earnings growth. Palantir stock has a beta of 2.79, which is more volatile than the market average. The stock has an analyst consensus rating of hold and a price target of $9.79, a decrease of minus 30.22% from the current price. The stock is influenced by various factors, such as its artificial intelligence products and services, its contracts with government and commercial clients, its legal and regulatory issues, and its competitive landscape. Let me point out some recent news that may affect Palantir stock. Palantir continues to create deep relationships with large healthcare organizations. The company's Palantir for Hospital Operations platform accounts for around 10% of its commercial revenue in the U.S. and helps hospitals with tasks that used to require spreadsheets and whiteboards. Palantir stock falls into correction territory amid a three-day losing streak. The stock dropped by more than 10% from its recent high of $17.16 on June 7 amid a broader market sell-off and some profit-taking by investors. Palantir can be a big AI winner, but finding a stock catalyst is now more challenging, an analyst warns. The analyst maintained a neutral rating and a $9 price target on the stock, citing its strong position in AI and its high valuation and lack of near-term catalysts. So, what do you think about Palantir stock? Is it a buy, sell, or hold? Before you decide, let me tell you about another way to trade Palantir stock, options trading. Options trading is a form of derivative trading that allows you to buy or sell the right to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified price and time. Options are contracts that give you leverage and flexibility in your trading strategy. You can use options to hedge your risk, speculate on the price movement, or generate income from your existing holdings. There are two types of options, calls and puts. A call option gives you the right to buy an underlying asset at a specified price, called the strike price, before or on a specified date called the expiration date. A put option gives you the right to sell an underlying asset at a specified price before or on a specified date. You can buy or sell options depending on your market view and risk appetite, and you can buy or sell options. When you buy an option, you pay a premium to the seller, called the writer, of the option. The premium is the price of the option contract, and it depends on various factors, such as the current price of the underlying asset, the strike price, the expiration date, the implied volatility, and the interest rate. 
When you sell an option, you receive a premium from the buyer, called the holder, of the option. However, you also take on an obligation to fulfill the terms of the contract if the buyer exercises their right. To make money from options trading, you must correctly predict the direction and magnitude of the underlying asset's price movements before or on the expiration date. But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. Let's look at some examples of options trading for Palantir stock. Suppose you are bullish on Palantir stock and think it will rise above $17 by June 30th. You can buy a call option with a strike price of $17 and an expiration date of June 30th. The last price of this option was $0.46, cents, which means that you need to pay $46 per contract. Each contract represents 100 shares of the underlying asset. If Palantir stock rises above $17.46 by June 30th, you can exercise your right to buy 100 shares of Palantir stock at $17 and sell them at the market price and make a profit. If Palantir stock stays below $17.46 by June 30th, you can let your option expire worthless, losing your premium. Alternatively, you can sell a put option with a strike price of $17 and an expiration date of June 30th, 2023. The last price of this option was $2.03, which means you can receive $203 per contract. If Palantir stock stays above $17 by June 30th, you can keep your premium as a profit. If Palantir stock falls below $17 by June 30th, you may have to buy 100 shares of Palantir stock at $17 from the buyer of the option and accept the loss. Here is a table that summarizes the possible outcomes of these two strategies. As you can see, buying a call option gives you unlimited upside potential, a higher break-even point, and a higher maximum loss. Selling a put option gives you limited upside potential, a lower break-even point, and a lower maximum loss. Suppose you are bearish on Palantir stock and think it will fall below $13 by June 30th, 2023. You can buy a put option with a strike price of $13 and an expiration date of June 30th. The last price of this option was $0.13, cents, meaning you need to pay $13 per contract. If Palantir stock falls below $12.87 by June 30th, you can exercise your right to sell 100 shares of Palantir stock at $13 and repurchase them at the market price, making a profit. If Palantir stock stays above $12.87 by June 30th, you can let your option expire worthless, losing your premium. Alternatively, you can sell a call option with a strike price of $13 and an expiration date of June 30th, 2023. The last price of this option was $1.16, meaning you can receive $116 per contract. If Palantir stock stays below $13 by June 30th, you can keep your premium as a profit. If Palantir stock rises above $13 by June 30th, you may have to sell 100 shares of Palantir stock at $13 to the buyer of the option and accept the loss. Here is a table that summarizes the possible outcomes of these two strategies. As you can see, buying a put option gives you limited downside potential, but also a higher break-even point and a higher maximum loss. Selling a call option gives you unlimited downside potential, but also a lower break-even point and a lower maximum loss. Options trading can be a powerful tool for trading Palantir stock or any other stock in the AI industry. However, options trading involves high risk and complexity. You need to understand factors that affect the price of options and strategies that suit your market view and risk appetite. You must also be aware of the time decay and the expiration dates. So, are you ready to invest in Palantir? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this content, smash the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Additionally, I highly recommend watching this fantastic video if you want to know about Palantir's stock analysis. Click this video right here and enjoy. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.